one that we've been advertising kind of recently, and that'll be Michigan's first big uh, ultimate tournament. So can't wait, can't wait. Getting, getting pretty exciting. This is winner's round one for top 32? For top 32, yeah. Top 32, but that includes losers, so I believe that these guys are guaranteed 17th already. And I believe this is all best out of five. I think the whole top 32 is best yep. out of five, from what I've gathered. All right, so we're going to try and see how long Daybreak can last <laughs> against Elias Luigi. He's going Falco, which I, uh, I applaud his candor to try such a thing. Ooh, just like that, already about to be tied up, passing yeah. him in percent. Yeah, every single time Elegant gets a grab or gets Daybreak off stage, either way, I, I tense. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, oh, that was a bad side B. All right, Dian in. Yeah, how did how did Daybreak get to 97% so fast? It looked like he was started out strong, and yeah. then suddenly <laughs> he's losing. <laughs> oh, again, another side B, this time hitting, putting him in a bad position. Yeah. Weird. I don't see new Daybreak go for those just standstill neutral side Bs very often, but it worked in against Elegant of all people. So D oh, down air that lasts forever. <laughs> yeah, that uh, Nair out of shield to kill him off the top. It's come to expect it at this point from Luigi, but it's still goofy looking. Oh, great back air. Gonna take the stock. But just like that, pretty even game. Yeah, uh, Daybreak takes back air. And basically, his entire Falco revolves around back air. <laughs> the only way to make him like usable is to do everything in your power to hit people with back airs. I am worried about if he's going to make it to the stage. Oh, Ooh, he didn't yeah, get he off. Didn't get off. <laughs> that that would have been it. Yeah, that, that, been it right that, there. that would have been a dead bird for Day sure. Daybreak getting a little break of his own. <laughs> That's true. Just smacks him. Yeah, that was the third time we've seen a on stage side B. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to keep getting away, especially in the best of five. He's not going to be able to do many more of those. Somehow avoids the down air and just forward airs him. See a back throw? Yeah, just getting stage control. Now it's, uh, he's basically had Daybreak off the edge like this. Oh, uh, too low. The whole <gasps> oh. Oh. oh, yeah. Elegant had his up B. Oh. <laughs> Elegant, not surprised by that at all. If Elegant had a little bit more percent, he probably would have been in hit just, stun yeah, long enough to just to hit the ground the first. Yep. Which would have been a very surprising finish to that game. But, man, Daybreak was off stage or at least at the ledge for, like, that whole game. Yeah, like but even then, the like, he didn't do bad. No, no, he didn't do bad. It was very close. Yeah, for considering, sure. For sure. Um, right down to the end, too, it was very close because I, I almost expected Elegant to die first there. But I think he has <laughs> to be a little bit more careful. Elegant did miss some of those drop-off tornadoes. So, yeah. He got a little bit lucky, but how long could that last? It's hard. I'm surprised. Daybreak has a cloud that he uses yeah, more than ask. Falco recently. Cloud so and Bale are allowed in singles. It was just <laughs> for doubles that they weren't allowed. Yeah, right? he is. Does he Daybreak is, know that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's primarily a cloud main recently, but um, and I would think that with Falco's recovery, like I mean, Cloud's recovery is not great either, but I, it's but Cloud overall is just a better, just character. better on the stage yeah. and off the stage. They're both equally easy to get cyclone. So, oh, that was great. Is that gonna be it? I don't. He doesn't have a jump. Let's see if his mash can carry him. No, I think he's no, dead. No. I was oh, worried that Daybreak went was too gonna far. That. <laughs> Ooh, that was scary. Yeah. Look at stuff from Daybreak taking that first stock. I like the high recovery right there too. It's a power shield. Ooh. Oh, wow! That was really. I like the way that Daybreak put a. He put a down tilt in there. Yeah. And that worked out really jab, well. Jab, jab, down tilt, and then into force smash. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that was a close call he right there. He almost got force smash himself. See side Cyclone. He was waiting I for the air dodge. Air dodge yeah. All right, that's yeah. gonna take him to 66%. Not bad. Two very, very strong back airs in this matchup. Oh, for sure. All right, good down smash. Wow. Ooh. He read. He there was an air dodge. Seriously, that was a good read. It just uh, elegant knows how to get out of a tight situation like that. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a ledge trump situation. The uh, bear traded up smash with I think down air. I'm not sure what that was. Elegant with a really good lead. One good back air probably will seal the stock. Yeah, Daybreak just needs one back air. Um, and he's he's sitting pretty. We're riding to game three with a basically just make it a best of three. Oh, the jab. It's not good. 74%. Has to be a little careful. Oh, he doesn't have a, no I, don't, I was going to say, I don't think he got his jump back. That's it. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, damn it. Yeah, just making sure. <laughs> uh, that, was, that was great on stage, but once he got knocked off, yeah, that's, that's the scary part. That's the whole thing. Is trying not to go off stage, trying not to get grabbed the whole time. He was doing really well, but it's elegant. <laughs> like, the poster boy for people who are never actually losing. Is he switching? Okay. He's going Mario. Interesting. I, I don't think I've ever seen that against Mario. No, I've seen it a few times. He's used it. Uh, I've only, there was one set he used. It was against Rosalina. So I think it was against either Fallen or DeBuzz. It was against DeBuzz recently um, he went Mario. All right, I can see that. Mario should do a little better than Luigi. Yeah. Both a little silly, but at least Mario has better traction. Yeah. And uh, air mobility. But now let's see how this Mario's going to perform versus Daybreak. I know that this is a good matchup for Mario. Um, but it's also one that Daybreak has played a ton. So. Oh my oh god! Oh my goodness. Oh my god, that was All right. so... That was so it looked far like Daybreak east. was behind him, and yeah. he still got him. Yeah, he... Oh, ah. again? All right, Elegant's trying to... <laughs> yeah, Elegant's really trying to... Like, he's mad. Even though he won game two, it was too, it was too close. So he just wants to embarrass him real quick. I don't know if that's actually what it's doing. That's, that's what it feels like. I mean, it could just be the character change that caught Daybreak off guard. That's possible. That's very possible. I mean, once you change character, you might change your play style. That might be what's behind throwing Daybreak off. But finishing off that stock with a bear, and put him in. Yeah, he's only took 37% after such a big deficit. It's not that bad now. Yeah, he's, that wasn't that bad. He's like close it just to looked the lead. bad. <laughs> it just yeah, it was very it was he's a very big statement statement forward air. Keep him my bay with his back airs. Yeah, he still is just the stage control. Just so much stage control from Elegant. No matter what character he's using. Back throw. Just jabs him out of the illusion. He's done that a few times. Oh my goodness. It was a good tech by Daybreak. But All right, bringing this back. He's got to hold this advantage, not lose stage control again. But well, that's easier said than done. <laughs> oh, that was untouchable. Unta yeah, it yeah. just bounced him right off. None of the, the circle, but whatever that, whatever you would refer to that animation. Yeah, um, but that was good. Three zero. I mean, the ma the matches were pretty close.